Let's be real. In Phoenix in summer, we all know that it's stupid hot, but I want to tell you the truth about what it's like to live through a Phoenix summer. Life in Phoenix during the fall and winter and a good portion of the spring is just fantastic. We have some of the best weather that our country has to offer and it's amazing. But we all know that with that comes the broiler summer. And it is stupid hot here during the peak of the summer. So I wanna share some of the details about what it's like and for me and my experience, how I deal with living here in the summer. May can be hit or miss. We may see some uh, 100 degree days. Um, you may see some upper 80 degree days. It's one of those transition months where it can be e either or. But once you're into June, it's definitely a 100 degree season and more than likely we're gonna see 100 degree temperatures for the rest of the summer. So on into June, it's usually pretty hot, but that's when the monsoon season starts. Uh, kicks up and almost every day you're gonna see monsoon storms off in the distance, whether it's south of the valley or north, that's where those storms tend to develop. And they're really cool to see, um, but it brings with it a lot of humidity and there can be some pretty violent storms. It's usually not, a monsoon storm is brief and very intense and sometimes the wind can do damage. Um, and you know, it's not gonna last long. We Usually you don't get a ton of rain. It may rain for about 15 minutes super hard, but it's not an all day rain. Um, the, the one benefit of monsoon season is that the clouds and the storms are beautiful and it leads to some amazing Arizona sunsets. But with that comes some storms and some humidity. So August or so can be one of those months where it's like, I, you know, everybody says it's the dry heat, but with those monsoon storms comes some humidity. So August is probably peak of the bad weather from a heat standpoint. Um, September's that month that always messes with me. Um, growing up in Nebraska and living in Colorado for college, I experienced all four seasons and September was that month of amazing weather in Colorado and the two good weeks of weather in Nebraska were always in September. So my brain still has a hard time with that month. In my head, it should be cooling off. I'm watching football games and people are wearing sweatshirts, but it's still 100 degrees, 105 here in September. And it just seems to linger. That For me, that's the worst part of the summer, is not when it's peak hot, but when it just seems to hang on. And October is that month where things really start to change. It cools off in the evenings and we start seeing temperatures below 100. And Halloween for me is kind of that benchmark of the weather is definitely gonna cool off and be finished by Halloween. And then we're into fall and that's when our amazing weather starts. Even though it is super hot out in the summer, life doesn't stop. Sure, a lot of times we you go from your air conditioned house to your air conditioned car to your office or to shopping or a restaurant, but life still goes on. You just, you deal with the heat. Um, you know, it's important to have a sunshade in your car. That helps tremendously. You want to tint the windows, those sorts of things. Um, but you can still go swimming. You can still enjoy things outdoors. You just have to know what time of day to do it. If you wanna go hiking, you gotta get up and be started before the sun comes up. Cause there is a big difference between when the sun is up and when the sun is down. And even in the shade, when it's hot during the day, it does make a difference. And once the sun goes down, that intensity of the sun fades away and even though peak summer it's dark and it's hot but it, it just doesn't have that same intensity as when the sun is up and beating down on you so life definitely doesn't stop you can still do all the things that you enjoy if you want to play golf you just got to get up and go early and be prepared um, summer golf is not about getting out with your friends and having 17 beers while you're playing you know you need to be mindful you're outdoors it's hot you're gonna sweat you need to be hydrating so if you, same with hiking, you just have to be smart about it. Every summer, there's always stories on the news about helicopter rescues of hikers that were up in the middle of the day and they're on a trail and they slip and hurt themselves and they didn't bring any water or something stupid like that. So if you're smart, you can still enjoy the outdoors while it's peak summer heat here. 
I may be overselling it, but we all know it's really hot here in the summer and that that's okay. But one of the cool things about where Phoenix is located, we're just two hours from Flagstaff, uh, Prescott and the White Mountains up north of the East Valley. There are lots of close options where you can escape the heat, go and get to a higher elevation and a different climate and enjoy a break from the heat. Or, you know, you have options where you can go to Southern California with just a half day's drive from the beach. Um, a lot of people do escape to Southern California during that time of year. I'm, they, the locals in California were, refer to us Arizonans that are escaping the heat as zonies. So it's, it's fun to get away and get a break from the heat. Um, there's lots of different options for you. So it's, it's not like you're going to be hiding out with the blinds drawn and the AC cranking as high as it'll go for four or five months. I hope that gives you a glimpse of what it's like to live here in Phoenix during the summer. And the heat gets a bad rap. It is intense, but it's something that you'll get used to. Um, I know as living here for 22 years, I don't like it, but I've, I've managed and it hasn't been a reason for me to leave. So I continue to live here. So if you want to learn more about Phoenix and what life is like here, uh, check out the rest of my channel. Um, I'm putting out new videos every week, so be sure and subscribe. And if you have any questions, reach out to me direct. Happy to chat with you and see what's going on with you. See how I can help.